tier. Some people will throw her up there, some won't, but she's definitely been one of those really consistent, like, you play this character with good fundamentals and, and know your shit, you're gonna, you can play well. Yeah, yep. basically. It, she's kind of like Wolf in a way. Wolf is, it, both of those characters are really good because you just need fundamentals to play them at a low level, but then as soon as you get higher, you have to know how to play the character mm -hmm. and the character inside and out. It, it, it's super impressive how top players play the character. Like, as oh, yeah. we can see, Dils are playing her right now, and compared to other Lucinas, it's just, it's impressive the amount of effort that takes. Because usually she seems like such a straightforward character. I think Cloud would do better, better in this matchup, right? You know, I think this is a... I, I think this is a, a tie when it comes to the matchup. I think both of these characters are just doing this. Essentially, essentially, what the other does is a lot of spacing. Um, Cloud has a little bit more of the, the kind of gimmicks going on with the uh, gimmicks, but ooh, um, you know, with the uh, the limit charging. Uh huh. Uh, and he also does have the a um, little bit of the zoning capabilities as well. Yeah. Um. He's got a little bit more range than Lucina's sword, maybe. He his sword has I think more range, just uh, basic basic range but when it comes to um, nice Becker. when it comes to Lucina she can throw out the uh, the dancing blade and kind of reach further with it but you know what Lucina yeah. does have is a little bit more air mobility and a little more confidence playing off the ledge a lot of times which yeah. is uh, how and we saw him take stock number one <laughs> yeah and her attacks are definitely just that little bit faster than clouds which will help her beat out a lot of clouds in certain uh, situations yep DI keeping him nice and close, not giving uh, to do a chance to really chase whatsoever. Finds himself now at an advantage and does a good chase down, fights through neutral, wins it again, finds himself um, ledge guarding against Zagu. Let's see if he can. Good job not going out too deep. He is this Ooh. time. That was close. Grab, yeah. back throw. Let's see if he can do it again. Ooh, Tried almost. the same move, Zagu is not going to fall for it. He's got the advantage off stage, definitely. Look how linear Cloud's recovery is. She can probably get that fairly easily too with her big sword. Yeah, well, I guess we'll, we'll, we're gonna, if, if it's possible and gonna happen, I think we'll, we'll see Dilster figure out how to do it <laughs> in one of these matches, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Dash attack going to make stock number one for Dilster go bye-bye and we are now tied when it comes to stock, not necessarily when it comes to percentages, but this is what we saw essentially the same thing when Zagu was fighting against Goma. He was in the same predicament against Goma's Mario. Let's uh -huh. see if he can bring it back just the same in against Dilster's Lucina. Oh, I can for sure see him, see him bringing it she back. Can I can trouble here. Dilster keeping the lead. That is another thing against Lucina that is so tough. You want to edge guard her. You want to be able to try to go down and spike her. You want to try and throw out the mix-up, but one place you don't want to be in this game is beneath Lucina. She, her, the, uh, the priority that her, um, her, um, up B takes, uh -huh. and the hitbox on it definitely beats out a lot, and we, we saw that happen there, which was one of the things that led to, um, Zagu's first stock going, is, is he tried to spike it, uh -huh. tried to get a, a, tried to get a spike, a two-frame spike, and Lucina's recovery just popped him up and allowed him to... Yeah, it just so yeah. fast. Oh, yeah. Like, look at that. Ooh! Immediately. I like that. That was a little bit of a mix-up, a little bit of a risk there. The, the shield breaker off the ledge. Oh! Uh, Limit attack to not recover. Gonna die, catches him. Back throw. Back or, back or chasing. Take it. Forward throw? No, not forward air. Oh, right there on the well. edge. Right on the edge there. Yeah, uh, I think uh, high, high percentage there was there. Uh, pretty much yeah. anywhere off that <laughs> stage. Probably would have been through that blast zone. So game number one goes to Dilster. He said mm -hmm. we just got done talking to Zagu. Zagu said he's going to keep pushing Cloud, but said he uh, will, he's gonna push Cloud, but will uh, we'll keep, keep it open mining. So let's see, he's keeping it up. Mm -hmm. He's keeping the Cloud. I think if he plays as well here tonight, then he's probably gonna wanna keep Cloud around, at least as a secondary. 
I think he's gonna definitely want to keep Cloud around as a secondary. Oh yeah, regardless. He, I think he, you know, one thing I like about Zagu too is he, he he likes to play and he likes to be good. Of course, a lot, every player at this well, yeah. level competition <laughs> likes to be good, but he he's one of the players too that's gonna want to play. He likes to have fun. He likes to that 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 factors into what character he's going to play too. Yeah, you know, like he's not gonna play like a boring character. How much do I enjoy character. playing this character? That's a big reason why he picked Joker. Before Joker came out, he just he loved Persona Five. He's like, I'm playing Joker no matter what. And he played <laughs> no, Joker. And he, he played Joker. <laughs> it turned out, you know, Joker is arguably the best character in the game, but <laughs> yeah, definitely. Know, he was he was apparently committed to it. He, he could have been worse than Piranha Plant, and he would have stuck with Joker. So <laughs> he likes he likes to uh, he, like I said, he likes to have he likes to have fun. He likes to enjoy the character he's playing. He likes to enjoy the mechanics. I think that that's what keeps people coming back and not burning out is, is being able to do that. Yeah, the, playing to enjoy the game is so much better than playing just to win, in my opinion. Right. Because don't get me wrong, you, winning's a lot of fun. Yeah, if you don't <laughs> enjoy your, the character or even the game in general, you're going to have no want yeah. to get better. You just don't care. I mean, that, that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, he went for the game. <laughs> yeah, he did. That's a, a lot to do with the... Uh, you know, keeping a good mindset, just honestly, mental health when it comes to being a competitive Smash player, competitive anything player, to be quite honest. You have to find that balance. You have to know, I need a break today. Yes, there are things that I could work on, but what are the pros and cons of, of me forcing myself to work on it and just not having fun and not enjoying it? How is that going to affect my play? Maybe I need to take a few days off. Yeah, so exactly. It's maybe I need to switch things up. Maybe I need to play a different game for a little bit to get my, my mind out of things. Maybe I need to make a character change for a little bit. Let's see what's going on to, to keep keep in the right headspace. Yeah, especially the character change part. Mm -hmm. If you're not enjoying your character, then, like I said, you're not going to want to play the game. Oh! Oh, you wall jump! All right, good. Trying to go <laughs> almost got the, uh, the footstool. I was going to go ahead and guess as an accidental footstool. Most of them are. But Probably. <laughs> yeah, you know, most uh, of them are. <laughs> not many people footstool on purpose. Thought he was gonna either poke or thought he could time Dill's oh. shield drop, but yeah, he's yeah. gonna take that stock. If he had a jump, he probably could have made it back. Yeah, he got a but With the wall jump. Nope. Good job getting limit charge. Both of them rolling away from ledge there. Throw it out. There it is. No, just too tall here. Not going through the ceiling. 150%, but up smash That's, absolutely yeah. will. Definitely, even without the tipper. Ah. A good 19% damage from limit attack right off the bat. Gets caught in an up B, 33%, almost essentially tied up. We pretty much are tied up right here. But now Dilster finds himself trying to keep the advantage. Zagu gets himself uncomfortable up there on the platform there, trying to find his way back to the stage. Oh, barely misses the tech read. Very barely. Oh. He's got a limit now. Probably going to want to go for that side B, maybe? Yeah. But no, he can't get it. On the ledge. Again, tried to get the spike there, and Lucina's up air just beating it out on the recovery. A little bit of a late up smash there. Oh, that's going to kill right in the tip. The number, both. His final stocks there went the exact same way, coming off the platform straight into that up smash. Up smash is deadly now. So good job with a good clean read there by Zagu to finish up both those last stocks. Uh huh. Dilster, um, now he gets to make the counter pick going into game number three. Keep in mind we cannot go back to Pokemon Stadium two. Mm -mm, no. That is where he he last went. So let's see where he takes it. Town and city, city, we go. That's not a bad choice. They're both sword fighters, so they're probably going to like the same kind of maps. Right. The same theme. I mean, I guess Cloud would like a lower ceiling just because of that up smash, mm -hmm. but that's about all I can think of. Yeah, Cloud does does get a few, um, you know, more more kills off the top where Lucina's the type that's going to get them get through the sides like a lot of the... You know, yeah, the off stage. With the off stage and with the F smash. Yep. F smash as well as just, just chasing and getting... Getting the, the, the bear and fair killed as well. <laughs> oh. oh. Neutral B punish. This are new that Zagu is either going to shield or slot dodge and just call them both out at the same time yep. with that neutral B. Nice. That was a hard read trying to, to read that neutral get up or, or um, get up attack there, and he paid the price for it. Just a 
little bit of inaccuracy trying to go up there and catch him in the air and uh, the goo's sword caught him with the down air. But again, we find Dilster chasing the goo off the stage. Not gonna fall for that this time. Oh, he's not gonna go for the down air. He's just gonna want that limit. You know, I, I think Zagu is playing smart. He's, he's found that he has not had the best of luck when he's been off stage. He's like, all right, I, let me focus on winning neutral. I'm not going to push my luck and get myself in any sticky situations right here next to the stage. He just knows that um, Lucina's aerial movement and, and abilities when it comes to, to chasing off the platform is just a whole lot better than Cloud's going to be. Yeah, much and, better, and way better. He, he lost a few stocks before. Out, out off the platform, so he's like, hey, keep me off here. Get me back on here. I don't care if I have to, to play it safe, let you back on. I'm not chasing anymore. It's a smart play coming from yeah. him. Yeah. That's all I can say. He's just, all well, these players are just really good with their character so far. Smart play, doing the options that they want. And do not want to be a early. No, no. Not even right now, actually. You try and go for a good mix-up there, not not deciding not to grab the ledge, just throwing the sword out and catching Dilster there, able to get him back onto the stage pretty comfortably. And this is going to be, oh, gets that shield out a whole lot faster than I thought he could. I thought he was in a big trouble there. Oh, I'd already brought it back up. So he's almost, oh, I don't know what he was doing with that up here. Again, like I said, he, that time, he, he played it a little less safe, and he paid the price for it. Lucina's not someone you want with how fast she can throw those aerials out with how much she can chase you out there. Uh-huh. Ooh. This interrupts the side view with the grab. Now, does the goose guy take the stock off? Somehow. Just has been holding on to it for a fair amount of time now. Oh, oh almost, hardly missing. Almost. Good job with the neutral air dodge there. To, that absolutely would have would have taken that stock if he would have connected. What does he say when he gets with it? Think like go back or, Coyote, uh, something. Coyote or something. I don't know. I, I haven't played the Final Fantasy games. Uno moves Coyote. Something like that. Who knows? Dash attack's finally going to take it. Once again, we find the goo in a game three last stock situation, except this time. Oh, oh no! Bye -bye. It is incredible how oh, that sucks, much, how man. quickly that thing will bust that shield. That is, it, it's good. It, was, it is a great. Dilster did great exactly one. what he wanted, he but for Zoo, that for Zugu, that just kind of sucks, man. Yeah, it does, and I, I love the way that um, you know Dilster, you know, baited that one.